assuming that a female is engaged in this feminine nurturance behavior and males cannot engage in it, isn't it a female behavior? Yes. If you don't account for these types of things, a certain movement like walking could be thought of as neutral. But if you take the positions of the parts moving in space and account for their positions relative to each other the sex of the movement can be determined. When I said that walking is gender neutral that does not mean that there are not masculine and feminine ways of walking. Maybe the movement can be structurally defined, but the locations of the anatomy can't be the same. The differences in the average walking behavior of the male and female human is not accounted for by the relative size of the shoulders and hips as much as the wiggle of the pelvis and the length of the step. It is interesting that walking in humans can be quite sexually dimorphic, as in southern Italy. He can also be quite isomorphic, as in the southwestern Native American tribes. Also, in many species the two sexes appear to walk identically. Even though a man and a stallion can behave quite differently, I cannot determine a difference in their walk. Same with dogs and a lot of other species. Therefore, I suspect that the feminine walk is a human-female proceptive behavior which can get turned on and off at will, at least in its exaggerated form. One can see street prostitutes strut as they walk down the street and are trying to attract male attention. Yet, when they are off-duty and just walk into a restaurant to get something to eat, the exaggerated hip sway and walk is not seen.